Get ready, they're right in front of us. Okay, take them! For generations, sportsmen have ventured afield to hunt the wide variety of game bird species found around the world. Each of these bird species can offer the wing shooting enthusiast a number of challenges. They come in different sizes and they fly at different speeds. Some are shot flushing, some decoying, and some passing. And many are simply shot at and missed. Let's face it, it's much more satisfying to have confidence in your shooting than it is to fill the sky with shot and hope. Let's take a few moments and recap some of the important points of shooting flushing birds. First of all, you must be totally aware of your surroundings. This means that you should know where your shooting partners are, know the position of the dogs, and determine your safe shooting zone. If you're on the left side, your shooting zone is from the center to the left. On the right side, the opposite is true. In many instances, you have multiple targets when flushing birds leave the ground. Pick one bird and stick with it until you've made the shot. You can easily do this by intensely focusing on the leading edge or head of the intended bird. Make your gun mounts smooth, crisp, and to the target. Remember that you've got more time to take the shot than you think, so focus on the leading edge and simply move the front hand to the bird as the gun is brought to your face. Make sure that both hands work as a team so that the muzzle moves smoothly to your intended insertion point. A good flock of bird, bird. Take the time to set your feet before taking the shot. When birds flush, you're usually unaware of which direction they will fly. So focus on the bird and take a slight step with the lead foot to the kill zone as the gun is being mounted. This will get your body in the correct position for a successful shot. When shooting multiple birds, make sure of your first kill. Then transfer your eyes to a second bird and focus on it as you bring the gun to the right lead picture. Wing shooting is an eyes to the target, hands to the target game, and taking each bird one at a time will increase your chances of making such challenging shots. The second wing shooting group we're going to look at is decoy shooting. The most common decoying shots are taken at waterfowl, but there are other birds that provide exciting decoy shooting as well. Decoy shooting provides the wing shooter with perhaps the biggest change in speed as the shot sequence is taking place. As a result, the shooting method to comfortably harvest them can change as the birds change speed, angle, descent, and ascent. What do we have? Oh, <laughs> Look at that helicopter! Yeah, that was a long shot, wasn't it? That was beautiful. That was... Earlier we showed you with the eye cam the three methods of obtaining lead on a clay target. Now let's diagnose each one of those methods on live bird. Let's take constant lead first. You'll notice that the gun tracks the bird, getting the gun speed and the bird speed together. The gun is mounted in front of the target. The gun is never behind the target. Comes up in front of the bird, checks it for just a heartbeat, and pulls the trigger, and follow through. Now let's take a look at the pull away method. You'll notice that the gun here is also tracking the target and moving with it. The pull away dictates that you match the speed of the bird with the gun and with your body. So that you're, when you bring the gun to your face, you actually intercept the target in its flight and you look right at the bird or slightly ahead of the bird for a brief moment. Once you've matched that speed and you've got that in your mind, you simply move the gun forward and feel the lead and pull the trigger. You really don't measure lead with any of these styles. Lead is a feel. Your eyes will tell you when to pull the trigger. And believe me, don't second guess yourself because most of the time the eyes are going to be right. 